Apple just released the long-awaited new 2018 MacBook Pros. This was a huge shock to basically everyone. In this video, we'll show you exactly everything that's new with the new MacBook Pro models. The 15-inch MacBook Pro is now packing the first 6-core processor to come in any MacBook ever. But let's first look at every single thing that's changed with the 13-inch MacBook Pro. First of all, the base 13-inch model is completely unchanged. Literally, nothing at all and it's priced at the exact same $12.99 as before. However, there's huge changes with the Touch Bar model. First off, an upgrade to Intel's 8th gen quad-core processor. Yes, you heard that right. Four cores, the first time ever for the 13-inch. The new processor is clocked at the same 2.3 GHz clock speed as the base model's chip, but the boost speeds are up to a massive 3.8 GHz, exactly the same as last year's base 15-inch MacBook Pro's quad-core chip except that it's an i5 instead of an i7. You also have the choice to upgrade to a 4-core i7 for $300 more, and the Turbo Boost clock is up to a massive 4.5 GHz. For comparison, the best available processor on last year's 15-inch MacBook Pro could only Turbo Boost up to 4.1 GHz, so this processor should easily outperform any and all previous MacBooks in multi-core tasks. On top of that, the new 13-inch Touch Bar model gets double the ED RAM, which is basically RAM that's built into the processor itself that can be accessed almost instantly. The graphics chip on the new model has also been upgraded to Intel's Iris Plus 655 compared to the old 650. You can also now upgrade to a massive 2TB SSD instead of 1TB on last year's model. But wait, there's more. The new MacBook Pro is now the first Mac ever to feature Apple's True Tone technology. What this does is measures the ambient color balance and adjusts the screen so colors are displayed more accurately. This is huge news for any photo or video editors doing color correction. Another massive change is a bump up to a 58 watt hour battery. The old 13 inch touch bar model only had a 49.2 watt hour battery, so battery life should increase quite a bit. Also, the new MacBook Pro is now the first Mac ever to support Bluetooth 5.0. It also includes a brand new third generation butterfly keyboard mechanism that Apple says gives a quieter experience. So hopefully the old butterfly keyboard issues have now been laid to rest. Apple also touted speakers with high fidelity sound that are connected directly to system power, but we'll have to compare them for ourselves to see if they're actually better. If you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button in the corner so you don't miss out on our hands-on review. The new Touch Bar model also includes Apple's T2 chip, which debuted on Apple's iMac Pro. It controls the FaceTime camera, the speakers and audio, system management, and the SSD, all by itself, freeing up the main CPU's power. It also has dedicated hardware to automatically encrypt all of the data on the SSD drive, without affecting processor performance. By far, the biggest change that the T2 brings is the addition of Hey Siri making it the first Mac ever to support it. And now that macOS Mojave is bringing the Home app to Mac, you'll soon be able to use Hey Siri to control HomeKit devices, straight from your new MacBook Pro. There is now huge value added to the 13-inch Touch Bar model, making it really hard to recommend the base model, especially since it's still packing the flawed butterfly keyboard. Now let's move on to the 15-inch MacBook Pro, which gets even more upgrades, including the long-awaited bump up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Both RAM options are now upgraded to 2400 MHz DDR4 memory. Last year's models used 16 GB of slower, low-power DDR3 memory. So it no longer has low-power RAM, which does negatively affect battery life. But the new models have a 10% larger battery, from 76 Wh to 83.6 Wh, so it should even out. The all-time biggest change is an upgrade to Intel's new 8th gen 6-core processor. It's clocked at 2.2 GHz with a Turbo Boost clock of 4.1 GHz, matching the Turbo Boost clock of last year's best CPU option, except it's now got 9 MB of L3 cache and faster RAM, so the new base 15-inch model should outperform the best 2017 15-inch model in terms of single-core performance, even if you still only have 16 GB of RAM. For multi-core performance, however, the new base model should now completely destroy last year's best MacBook Pro thanks to the new 6-core chip. 
You can also pay an extra $400 over the base model for the top of the line 2.9 gigahertz i9 processor that turbo boosts up to an insane 4.8 gigahertz, the highest turbo boost speed ever seen on any Mac. You also get a bump up to 12 megabytes of shared L3 cache. Perhaps the craziest thing is that there's now a four terabyte SSD option, which helps bring the price for a fully loaded 15 inch MacBook Pro up to a massive $6,699. Now into graphics, the base model now comes with 4GB of memory, which you had to pay extra for last year. You now have the option of a Radeon Pro 555X or 560X, which seems like they're basically the same chips other than a slight boost in clock speeds. The integrated chips have been upgraded to Intel's UHD Graphics 630, with slightly improved benchmark performance according to NotebookCheck.net. The new 15-inch model gets the same new features I mentioned earlier in the video for the 13-inch model, like True Tone, Bluetooth 5.0, updated butterfly keyboard, T2 chip, Hey Siri support, and potentially better speakers. This year's new MacBook Pro models have overall a huge boost in value compared to last year. To make it even better, Apple has teamed up with Blackmagic Design to create the first external eGPU ever that has a Thunderbolt 3 output, so you can hook up to LG's ultra-fine 5K display and possibly other USB-C displays. We just ordered the new eGPU and we've already got an LG 5K display in our office. It should come in tomorrow morning and we'll do a hands-on first look review, so make sure to subscribe now. The best part is that it'll also work with any Thunderbolt 3 device, including the cheapest $1300 MacBook Pro, which will massively improve graphics performance. Let us know what you think about the new MacBook Pros in the comment section below. And if you're planning on buying one, which one are you going to get? Once we get our hands on the new 13-inch and 15-inch MacBook Pros, we'll be doing a lot of testing and comparisons, so make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.